I mean, when you read the Bahraini newspaper, you think that you are in a country of freedom and democracy. However, the Bahraini government closed all kind of civil society and political movement. The Bahraini government has closed the largest political society, which is al Wafaq society, and also they also closed the other largest secular and liberal society, which is Wa'ad society, and the rest of the society. So there is no single independent uh, opposition party uh, allowed to work uh, in Bahrain. Not only that, but all of them, uh, the government of Bahrain issued a legislation to ban all of them from running in the next election. Uh, uh, freedom of expression, also, there is no, uh, the, the only independent newspaper, which is Al Wasat, is banned. Uh, uh, it was closed in Bahrain. People are not allowed to participate their right to freedom of expression or freedom of assembly. There is no single protest since 2014. The king issued a a law banning all the protests in the capital, Manama, and since that day, there is no single protest uh, in Bahrain uh, allowed legally, uh, although the people uh, start to, I mean, are protesting illegally, but illegally there is no single uh, uh, protest. Also, freedom of expression, we have the appointment case, which is Nabir Rajab. He is, in, he is serving seven years in prison for tweeting about human rights violation in Bahrain and in jail and also uh, criticizing the humanitarian crisis in Yemen. Uh, and also we have many other cases of bloggers, activists, nobody is allowed to speak either uh, in Twitter or any cases. Not only people with their real name, but also people with the fake name who are criticizing the government in Twitter, the government of Bahrain start tracing them through some of the surveillance, I mean, through the surveillance technology, through a lot of German and, and a British company, they can trace who are the person is running this Twitter account. So they don't want anyone to criticize them at all. Uh, 